tell us this process of building trust in a broken team that you did from 2007 up until uh, 2008. Well, I started with the biggest mistake you could make. I presented a vision to the team when I arrived. You know, who was I as a South African to tell the Indians how to play cricket? Um, but I had a trusted lieutenant with me. And that guy was a guy by the name of Paddy Upton, who you know, South African as well. Because he was my truth teller. He could give me harsh feedback on my work. And I'll never forget when I finished that vision statement or whatever, and I asked Paddy, I said, what do you think? And he's, he just shook his head and he said, didn't land. So what did I do from that moment on? I spent the next six months saying very little. <laughs> and watch the behaviors of the team, watch what their um, flexion points were, you know, where they were, when they were under pressure, how they behaved. How did individuals respond to each other? And then, you know, when I said say, say very little, they still needed leadership, but say very little. And then I was able to, as I started to build these individual relationships, create some trust in the environment, only then could I start to influence in a way.